Jasmine. God bless you. Thank you. You're welcome. Glacy from Brazil, welcome to my teaching world. Today I'm here to give you some tips on how to use this book in your classroom, especially with little ones. Do you know this book? It's called The Very Hungry Caterpillar. It tells a story about a tiny caterpillar that felt so hungry when she came out of the egg. And then from Monday to Saturday she felt so hungry, she couldn't stop eating. On Monday she ate something, on Tuesday she ate double of it. On Wednesday she ate three times more. Then after eating so much, after seven days she was so big, she was asleep and then she slept. After some time she became a beautiful butterfly. One thing that I really like about this book is that for every day of the week, when the author talks about what the caterpillar ate, he has a hole, he makes a hole on the food um, to pretend that the caterpillar, you know, went through this, this food and just ate a piece. And then you can put the child's little finger through here to pretend that his finger is the little caterpillar. It's really cute and they love doing it. You are going to notice that from Monday to Friday, the caterpillar ate healthy stuff. It was all about fruit. But on Saturday, everything that he ate was like junk. He had sausage, he had lollipop. You can take advantage of this kind of food to talk about healthy food and junk food. Which one is the best for them? Which ones do not make them feel healthy? Which ones do they prefer? You can have a picnic one day, you can have a fruit salad. You can also teach them how to count. If they know how to count from 1 to 10, teach them from 1 to 20. Challenge them. They like to be challenged, even the little ones. One thing they are going to love learning is about the life cycle of a butterfly. You can watch movies with them, you can have them draw, you can have them color the butterfly, you can have them put the story in order, just print out every single page in small sizes and have them put it in order. Every activity you propose can be a day class and if in every class you have a different activity, they are not going to get bored and you will have a new chance to tell this story again and the more you tell this story, the more chance um, they will have to listen to it and memorize it. And maybe after some time they will know part of the story by heart or, or even the whole story. And if they do know the whole story by heart, you can have them just tell this story. Maybe one student is going to narrate this story and the other ones are going to act it out. Watch this four-year-old girl. The caterpillar was very hungry. She ate one apple. And then on Tuesday she ate two pears. Can you count? One, two, three, four. And then on Friday he ate through four. Five oranges. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen. Beautiful. Look, it's beautiful. Yes, look at all those foods. Let's see. Wait, what is that one? <laughs> it's a cake. cake. Pastry, pickles, cheese, yes. salami. Polly. Lollipop. Lollipop. Cherry. Cherry pie. Cherry pie. Sausage. Some cake. Melon fear. Watermelon. Say Melon. watermelon. Melon. <gasps> then she ate through one big Love leaf. It. Wow. <gasps> oh my gosh. She big. is very big. A big caterpillar. This is her house. She's going to sleep in the house, right? And then when she wakes up, she's going to be a beautiful. Uh, what is this? What uh, is butterfly? It's a butterfly. Butterfly, fly, fly, fly. What color is the butterfly, Jasmine? Let's see the colors. Mm. What color is this? 
Blue. Blue. Red. Red. What color is this? Yellow. And this? Purple. Purple. Say bye bye. Bye bye. Good night. <laughs> Well, that's the kind of results you can have from your four-year-old group if you just follow some of the tips that I gave you. I'm sure you must have so many other ideas that you can share with me by email or with your colleagues, right? Have a great time with your students and remember, you can be amazing. Remember that, okay? Bye-bye. If you can move mountains, you can do anything. Nothing can stop you. I don't you come with me. Together we can change the world and set people free by breathing love and peace. Let us change the world. You can change your world. I'm sorry, forgive me, I love you, I'm thankful it's done. It's done, it's done. Love yourself, forgive yourself, be grateful for who you've become, for who you've become.